now even California Governor Jerry Brown is telling Democrats, don't go too far left. Oh, Gerald, little Gerald Brown, little sellout Jerry Brown, downtown sellout Brown. Um, this is how ridiculous it is, right? The Democratic Party in California holds the governorship super majorities in both the state house and Senate. And despite that, <clears throat> It is the bluest state. The Democratic Party has complete control over this state. Despite that, the Democratic Party is still siding with their big corporate donors. And they are not. All of these progressives in California, like hardcore progressives, let's go. Jerry Brown was this big hero after the Trump inaug you know, getting elected in the inauguration. Oh, I'm resisting and California's going to secede, secede. And everyone, everyone was like, yeah, Jerry Brown. I did stories about him on this show. Jerry Brown saying, no, Jerry, we're going to get our own everything. We're just going to, we have the ninth largest economy in the world. We're going to do whatever we want. And what do they do? Anthony Renner, they vote out single payer. How are we going to pay for $400 billion? How are we going to pay for single payer? It's funny, I retweeted this on Twitter that the, the cost of the F-35 bomber, I believe, is, is going to go north of $400 billion. But we can't figure out how to pay for single pair in the state of California. Jerry Brown, who um, suppressed efforts to ban fracking, uh, was fined in May of 2017 for laundering money from oil companies to Brown's 2014 re-election campaign. Also, the debt-free college plan was watered down in the state legislature in favor of modest reforms. Fuck them. I'm so sick of this shit. It's so glaringly obvious. This is an article written in the observer.com by uh, Michael San, uh, San Sanato. Right? And it was reprinted in um, yahoo.com. So yahoo.com is saying this. <laughs> Yahoo, which isn't really some progressive blog, is saying this crap. It's unreal. Right? They go, they, this, the nurses union was pushing for single payer in California. And I talked about that. It was shut down by Anthony Rendon, right? The nurses' union, and they're being to blame. We're blaming the nurses' union. Oh, yeah, those damn nurses. They're like uh, public school teachers. Oh, those fat cat school teachers sucking the system dry. Those goddamn nurses. <laughs> Give me a break. And here's what else I've talked about. Um... Kimberly Ellis, who got threatened by high-ranking Democrats, right? In June 2017, uh, California Democratic Party chair candidate Kimberly Ellis reported that dozens of votes in the California Democratic Party chair race in May 2017 were ineligible to be cast. Her efforts to ensure the election was fair are being ignored by the state party despite the California Democratic Party's Compliance Review Commission identifying... 223 potentially problematic votes. The election was decided by 62 votes. Redefining what it means to be a Democrat requires us to force change on an establishment that prefers conformity over courage. Despite this, this discomfort, those of us unified activists standing for truth are making measurable and progressive changes, Ellis wrote on Facebook post July 6. To this day, our campaign is still being denied access to information promised to us by former chair Burton. Information critical for us to supply specific data points in our challenge. Further, this review is far cry from an actual independent forensic audit, but it's a start. Because the election favored the establishment-backed candidate, Eric Bauman, the California Democratic Party and its establishment insiders have obstructed efforts to obtain a fair and independent review. Boy, does that sound familiar? Boy, when did that happen again? Was it the 2016 presidential primary? This is what they're doing. 
They're unbelievable and they're such whores for this corporate money. They think they're going to get away with this. They are, these people are going to be the death of the Democratic Party. I've done, I've done dancing around this. Fuck the Democratic Party. We need to get rid of them. We need a new third party. I'm done. I'm done with them. I'm not going to vote for any corporate Democrats at all. If there's some progressive Democrats trying, like I'd vote for this woman, Kim Ellis. If she's got a D by her name, okay. But if it's, if it's, if it's a corporate Democrat versus, and there's no other Democrats challenging them, then I'm going to vote for third party. I'm just, I'm, I don't care. I'm, I don't give a shit. Or I'll channel, I'll write and run myself <laughs> if I have to, because I'm tired of these people, man. It's unbelievable, right? It's unbelievable. On July 10th, Political reported that California Democrats were plunging into a civil war, and the article cast blame on progressive activists. Several weeks before, the author wrote a hit piece on Senator Bernie Sanders' political revolution, claiming he has hit a rough patch. Oh, God. In the article, Brown cautioned the Democratic Party from going too far to the left. Look, you can always go too far. Trump has obviously gone too far in one direction. It's possible too far in the other direction, he told Politico. <laughs> yeah, well, too far left means socialism. And then you corporate assholes are gone. Jerry Brown, sellout asshole. What did you learn from the corruption of the Clintons in 1992 and go, well, I guess I'm going to play their type of, of <laughs> politics. So... This whole we need to appeal to moderates thing, they don't. I'll read you the last article, the last paragraph in this article. Establishment Democrats often argue that the party needs to appeal to moderates, which only suppresses the enthusiasm of their progressive base. Yeah, you know, the people that are paying attention, the people that want real change, that are, are done with like, oh, we'll take lesser of two evils, we'll make concessions, that, that, that stuff, who see the whole system is broken, they're unbelievable what the corporate Democrats are doing. They're unbelievable. The whole system is crumbling. People are bailing on them left and right. Do not give a penny to the Democratic Party. An individual progressive Democrats campaign, okay, but do not give to the party. They're going to send you all these resist, resist Trump. Fuck that. Give it to a non-for-profit or something like that, but don't give it to the Democratic Party. Their whole, this is what this article says. The Democratic leadership has insisted running solely an anti-Trump message and refuses to take principled stances because doing so might antagonize their donors. As we've said time and time again, they would rather lose to Republicans than let progressives get any power. They've done it on the national level. They did it in the presidential race. They cheated in the presidential race. They're now doing it in California. They killed the... the they crushed a progressive woman, a black woman, a black woman. They're all the Democrats are all diversity, diversity, diversity. Here, a black progressive gone. Same thing with Nina Turner. Boom, hit piece on her. They're diverse in that they have a wide range of ethnicities and genders that are fucking corrupt as shit. And then they get assholes like Joy Reid and Rachel Maddow and Chris Matthews to spew their bullshit on a national level. And they get assholes in the LA Times and whatever to say this crap. So fuck the, fuck the corporate Democrats. That's who killed single payer was their wealthy donors from the healthcare industry and Big Pharma killed single payer in California. Don't give up. Don't give in.